Hello everybody, news from Egon. We haven't been just doing great trips together. Heiner and I have developed another product. It is called the Relay Hub. This is the most versatile switching system that you have never seen before. And it's been around a while because we wanted to test it very thoroughly and we have done uh, for over a year. And I will leave it now to Heiner who has built numberless electrical systems in four-wheel drives, caravans, vans and trailers to explain it to you. With this Egan Relay Hub, we've tried to solve a lot of problems that arise with installing relays and switching systems into vehicles in a very simple and compact way. And we try to only use components that are easily replaceable everywhere in the world. So the relays on here are exchangeable, they're standard automotive relays. All the cables that you need to hook this up are just multi-core cables like seven-core trailer cable, uh, dual-core cable, uh, twin-core cable, everything that is everywhere available where electrical installations are being done in the world. A relay is very important because it takes the load away from the switch that you're using. A lot of the switches can't cope with a lot of current. So what they do is they've got a low current circuit and that current switches a relay on which then switches the high current directly to the load. Most simple example is a driving light. What you can do with this is run a trigger into the circuit board from your high beam going through a switch which will then switch on the relay which will then switch on your driving lights and you can either have a single power source or you can have multiple different power sources which we're going to explain a little bit later. The thing I love most about it is to use this as an extension for a power distribution system like the DC hub. So in a really big installation you get a power supply from your main power distribution into the power supply of the relay hub and now the magic begins. You can now put a fuse in here, switch this relay from this supply here with a multi-core cable and you can have the output on this side here and you switch the light from a switch or a remote control or a switch and a remote control. You can even switch it from a 12 and a 24 volt power source and then if you don't just want to have circuits coming from your main power distribution which is usually a house battery but you want to also switch things from an ignition source from the start battery from an accessory circuit you just leave one of the fuses out and you can now mix and match power supplies even different voltages some circuits can be 12 volt others can be 24 which is awesome in truck installations plus you got fault finding on the board if a fuse blows a light turns on when a circuit turns on a light turns on and just in case your switching fails you've got a backup override switch directly on the board it is awesome it makes our job so much easier all right let me interrupt you there Heiner I, I want to I think I need to explain why how many of you have opened a bonnet of somebody's car and seen a relay over there a relay over there two over there and another one over there and just a mass of cables and it looks like a bird's nest those of you who have wired a relay might always have to look at it and say okay what is the trigger where is my power in where's my ground in and have to figure it out that has come to an end you don't need to do that anymore this is like paint by numbers the switching of these five relays you just follow the instructions and run all of the instructions are written here it simplifies things so much to the point where you don't actually have to do a lot of thinking apart from where are you going to put it back to you Hannah or you can switch your driving lights or you can have a feed from an ignition source that switches on things that you want to be running off ignition for example you could be using daytime running lights you put an ignition feed in here just to name a few and of course you can run water pumps, water heaters, uh, lights of all kinds, uh, whatever you can think of up to 25 amp per circuit. Another great application for this is to have 
a vehicle based electrical system that's being powered by a battery box that's been taken in and out of a vehicle. So this can be powered directly from the battery box and then circuits like camp lights, a fridge, charging points can all be connected to this because this has got a single power supply but these outputs here can also be used as constant power supplies while these outputs here are switched outputs. So you can have your battery box in your vehicle connected to it, have a charger on it as well. And if you take the battery box out, you can connect this cable that goes to the battery box to the cable that goes to the start battery and charges the battery box and you run everything off your start battery. We will explain a little bit more about that later. It turns out that the Egon Relay Hub is actually far more versatile than we thought. So what we've done on the Egon YouTube channel, we have explained several use case scenarios and several wiring instructions. So you can follow through step by step on any kind of build that you're doing. Our testing period has been uh, well over a year. Uh, including uh, fitted in both Heiner's vehicle and my vehicle during the canning stock route. But like all Egon products, the idea is to simplify things. You know, relays are not new. Wiring them up is nothing new about it. But here is an item, one item, where you can switch up to five accessories, high current accessories, and you can wire it yourself. And if you're in a workshop, you're doing this professionally for clients, it is going to save you, again, like the DC Hub, a huge amount of time. We reckon on, a, on the, the, the DC Hub, on a typical build, where you've got fridges, three or four lights, you've got a travel buddy, you maybe have a water heater, you maybe have a compressor, etc. The time saved in a workshop is anywhere between six and eight hours. So that's six or eight hours of labor saved. The Relay Hub is about the same. Another six to eight hours of labor because when wiring up these items, you don't need to uh, use any heat shrink. You don't need to use lugs and the reason for that is that all the connections on both Relay Hub and DC Hub are clamp connections. It's not a wire with a screw going through it. That's terrible. This is actually better for a relay. You know you've got all of these connections that you switch, you plug in. That, that, that there's little spade connections. Spade connections are not very efficient. But what we've done with the Relay Hub is we've used the best quality spade connection sockets on the board that we can find anywhere in the world. And you'll notice that when you put the relay in, it's very firm. It doesn't move about. If you are doing the wiring and you are crimping a spade connection, they are notorious for coming loose. Notorious. For, if they get slightly damp, and if there is not a good solid connection, you get an electrolytic reaction as the current flows through and they corrode. That has gone. It is the end of that with the relay hub because the connection is of such a high quality. And the clamps are actually, they're shaped like this and they actually grab the wire. You can make them extremely tight. In fact, on the instructions on the website, there are recommended torque settings for all of the connections on the Relay Hub. So again, it's a game changer in terms of simplifying switching currents in anything from a caravan, trailer, 4x4 or even, even a small home installation. I hope that helps you. Check out our website egon.com.au for more information and all the videos on their website illustrating use, case, use cases and instructions on how to install it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.